Did you want the table moved? Thank you. Okay. Okay, welcome everyone. I hope we're all enjoying Maui. We're only here for a few more days, so make sure we take advantage of it, okay? So as travel agents, it is our job and our mission to make sure that we are maximizing our travelers' experience while we're minimizing their stress. So one way that we have been looking over the past few years to do this and complete this is by taking polls and surveys of our clients that are actually traveling. And what those polls and surveys told us is that um, our clients experience a tremendous amount of stress when they're packing, whether they're leaving their home or their destination, whatever it is, they're always worried about, how am I gonna get everything I need and how am I gonna get it there? I don't wanna ship it, I don't wanna have to pay the extra fees. So what we have decided for 2014 um, is that we're going to implement a pack and go initiative. Basically it is what it says. We're gonna pack up and we're gonna go. We don't want our traveler to experience the stress and anxiety from packing. So what we're gonna to do today is, um, I have here my carry-on that I brought with me on this trip. I fit 10 days worth of clothes in here even though I only needed five. So when we're packing, we need to look at how we're going to educate the customer. We're gonna do that a few different ways. We are going to train our representatives we are going to um, have videos and brochures for them as well. So we have a, different, a couple of different, that way we get to all of our demographics, whether they're in our office, if they're looking online, but it will be initiative going forward. So it's just some quick tips that are gonna be reviewed in it. Um, when we're packing a carry-on, these bags are great. Women can carry these, put their identification, is always most important, you all always wanna keep it on you. Any cameras, iPads, Anything like that should always go in something that you can carry on with you in the plane. Then we have our clothing items, okay? There are some tricks and techniques that we can utilize. Um, the first is jeans. They are a very heavy material. The way we should be packing these is simply by folding in half and half again, and then one more time. This will prevent wrinkling of the item, and then we'll set it in there. Now, Next, we have just a regular standard t-shirt. To minimize the wrinkling for this item, we want to make sure that we're folding it as few times as possible. So we fold it in half and then up. And it goes right on top of the jeans because that cotton material is heavy. Um, the next trick that we're gonna utilize is for a blouse. You all, we, all, we want to educate our clients on how to pick the best materials when you're traveling. So for this instance, I have a blouse. We're gonna use the same technique. We're gonna fold it, but we're gonna actually roll it. And by rolling it, it is going to minimize the wrinkles in the clothing, and it is also going to save space. And then you just place it in the empty spot. Some of the other initiatives that Pack and Go have, tips and tricks. This is an eyeglass container. What did we do here? We put earrings, necklaces, jewelry, all in here. It up, and then it's disguised. Nobody knows what's in here except for the extra machine. So we want to be able to develop, have valuable tips like that as well. Um, I always pack my shoes in a bag. That's something else that will be covered. Then we have the TSA requirements that everybody is worried about. Can I take that? Can I not take it? What do I do? I only want to take a carry-on. So with this, they have the 311 rule. All that is, is your shampoo, your lotions, conditioners, anything like that. They make these bottles, they're available anywhere, but they all have to fit in this core pack. Now most people will try to put this in their luggage. The problem with that is when they're going through security, they actually have to open their luggage. It can cause things to fall out, then you're trying to get it back in, and you're stressed out now because now you've got a crying baby and you're trying to get on the plane and get through security. So what I recommend, is just simply putting it in the Ziploc bag, and then on this pocket here, we just tuck it. It's separate from your clothes, that way if something happens and the bottle breaks and the Ziploc bag breaks, it's completely separate and all you have to do is worry about cleaning that out. So those are just a few of the items that we have covered today with our pack and go, and there's gonna be more coming, so we're gonna get that material to you. That way you can see the different items that we have. 
But overall, this initiative is going to show our clients that we truly care about their traveling experience and that we want to keep their out-of-pocket costs as low as we can. So we need to educate them on how to pack, what's best to pack, and the TSA requirements. So thank you for your time today, and we will go ahead and move on to John now. Thank you, Crystal. Good, good start for our class.